These are the tools supplied with the machine. The user manual is also contained in the tube. Remove the PTO shaft from its shipping position. Remove the double locking bolts from the PTO. Attach the PTO to the machine. Align the double locking bolts and tighten. Attach the chain to prevent the guarding from rotating. Insert the quick release lower link balls and lock into place using the pin. Back up the tractor and attach the arms to the quick attach system. Drop the latches down to secure into place. Attach the top link to the A-frame and adjust the top link to allow a little slack in the chains. Measure the PTO and cut the size if required. When the machine is raised into transport position, there needs to be a minimum of 50 to 80 millimeters left when the PTO is closed. Failure to check this will result in significant damage to the center gearbox, PTO shaft and tractor. Attach the PTO to the tractor and ensure a secure attachment. Connect the chain to prevent the PTO guarding from rotating. Connect the hydraulics to the tractor. There is one spool required and it controls the wings. Adjust the tap to control the speed of the wing drop. Connect the electrics. Raise the machine slightly and reposition the parking stands. And secure with the pin. Adjust the bolts and reposition the roller as required, using the middle or bottom hole. If you are looking for a more significant adjustment, you can adjust the skids by repositioning the bolts. Reposition the top links and secure with the pin. Repeat for the other wing. Lower the wings by hydraulic control. While the wings are down, set the top link into mowing position. The top links limit the wing lift and prevent damage to the wing PTO shafts and gearboxes. Start up the tractor PTO and build up the operating speed. Lift the tractor arms up so that the front of the machine is at a higher pitch than the rear. This improves the mulch. The machine should run on the rollers and not on the skids. Select a suitable forward gear and proceed to shred. To eliminate the buildup of material on the center deck, Clear off the wings prior to lifting them into the transport position. Remove the top links from the mowing position. Raise the wings by hydraulic control. Put the wing transport locks back into place. Reattach the parking stands if uncoupling the machine and storing it. Check the oil in the gearboxes every 40 hours of operation. If you need to add oil, we recommend 85W140 gear oil.
for optimum performance and long machine life, the gearbox oil should be extracted and replaced every 500 hours. Check the roller according to the user manual. Grease the roller ends after every 40 hours until grease is visible at the wiper seal. There are four blades per rotor for powerful mulching. Blade assemblies and components must be checked on a regular basis according to the user manual. Sharpen the blades using a small grinder. The PTO and drive lines should be greased every 25 hours, as detailed in the user manual. Increase this if working in particularly dusty conditions. Depending on your tractor, you may need to remove the PTO shaft in order to access the middle sliding grease point. On the machine side, grease the overrun and universal joint. Grease the rams. Raise the wings. Grease the pivot point and repeat for the other wing. If you have questions about the safe use and maintenance of your machine, scan the QR code on your machine for additional how-to videos to get the best performance from your major machine.